Hear die cry agenda blown sky high monkey with Wi-Fi defy drive by black myth Wukong chose creativity skull fuck journos take woke virginity immature drunk hoe bitch about tampons two mil concurrent gamers got a hard on modern audience cannot come through all your females look like dudes Western politics art stagnation incapable of impregnation Eastern gaming bout to take shape Kyle the wrong kind of ape to escape rockstar pussy ass do Pay attention, woke GTA cause investor tension. Sanitized game named after a crime, and wallets might not love you long time. Go woke, go broke, resist the blight, then your bank account and our cash unite. Ignore whiny absolute bores, then you too, like Wukong, can score. Hello, beta testers. Whoa. Look, in the game Inzoi, a uh, Sims-like coming out of the East, you can even make yourself look like an ugly masculine entity from a woke modern audience game that the West seems to keep calling women. You have the choice. So you can be pretty or you can be a Concord character. Like and subscribe to join over 103,000 beta testers. The queer smear that journalists adhere to has had a Hogwarts legacy effect, and it won't be the first, last, or only coordinated hit on whomever they deem a threat, and I'm living proof of that. Congratulations to Wukong on two million plus concurrent players, while Western games are farting out SBI garbage and giving scam artists like Peter Molyneux another chance to rip people off. Countless dead on arrival DEI soaked projects coming down the pipes that telegraph at a glance that it's more of the dated, unsubtle message that nobody's looking for. Kinda like all that other woke garbage that's not quite hitting the mark. Wukong is, by the way, Concord Dustborn censored narcissistic modern audience changes to remakes, not so much. Just like with anime, we want the losers tasked with remastering or translating to leave themselves out of the very specific job. Kind of like Digital Foundry and their ruler holding ass. We do not care what you consider problematic or a product of a bygone era. You are entitled to your dog shit opinion and we are entitled to squat over it and realize, oh my god, this is already poop before we even got here. A poop on a poop. It's like a hat on a hat. A dagreos. Subscribe, since I guess it's never occurred to any of you to ever think to do that. I'm kidding. You guys, uh, <laughs> you've heard of walk animations, but have you ever heard of lurch animations? <laughs> I think we're supposed to be appreciative that these journalists and game developers were so proud to demonstrate racism on higher tiers than even a Floridian racist might. I find myself the kind of astonished that would have me take my hat off in awe, but Weapons Great Stupid is only half of the awe America, so I'll bring the shock. The attention starved who need their Instagram filters to reinforce their delusions and delicate sensibilities are trying to apply their warped, ignorant view of the world onto people willing to actually work for what they earn. And when these good people resisted the woke culture vandalizing monsters attempting to uh, slander and destroy and rewrite history, anything outside of what their cult is about, you know, ooh, big problem. Sorry, we are not into VTubers, and half of you would need to either be a lot more attractive, or talented, or charismatic, or creative, or bring anything to the table to curry our favor and convince us that, you know, with how aware we are of how sexy technology can be, that we should accept such an ugly reality augment from failed creatives with no social or real life experience outside of the pre-Elon's Twitter performative activism they engage in, confusing their existence for a life in their ugly outcast club. Ironically, the insinuation that married men are incels because they don't want to spend their limited valuable resources, of which time is one on petty, envious, lazy, inferior to AI blowhards is rich, but only figuratively because, like woke, these niggas broke. And hey, I'm right there with you, but I figured I should pick a lane because broke and stupid didn't strike the vibe I was going for. It's not a banger to put it in terms of stupid ass woke motherfuckers forcing themselves to watch my video like they don't have the choice not to. Would understand. Beta tester.
you're observing imitators suddenly feeling safe enough to acknowledge what we've been talking about for years. They wouldn't be brave enough to jump into this did they not deem it safe suddenly. But like the two-faced act mams and mutahars they are, their opinions are dictated by what they regard as the majority. There it is, the pendulum shifting. Do not relent. Do not let up pressure. I don't demand people act a certain way online, but the hypocrisy and double standards from whipped poser tourists that would instantly flip their opinion if their audience indicated that they opposed it, these are the entities we can laugh at for failing even with a handicap. I again thank you all for the love letters that you're sending me, all of the subscriptions. <laughs> Here's an idea, you should try subscribing even though the channel's gonna unsubscribe you. Wukon breaking 2 million, of course they're going to dismiss as simply a China thing. But what they never ask themselves is, what if I'm wrong? It never crosses their mind, they could never be humble, though they accuse us of the pride that they sinfully, and I'm not going Jesus on it, I'm just like, tone it the fuck down. They could say their cope out loud to realize just how much they're deep throat and afoot, man. But that's what they do. On Steam alone, two million. But it doesn't really matter. And I can tell them verbatim, don't make this a Hogwarts. Don't make yourself a symbol, a, 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 a opportunity for a middle finger from people who need you to understand your opinion doesn't fucking matter. You're not a goddamn middleman between the gamers and what they're seeking. The records are broken. Now, fart huffing journos accusing people of nonsense, then demanding they respond to the allegations on their pathetic Me Too and woke grift. Just like when they whine about what Ninja has and what they'd do if they had his audience. You guys would be so popular in a bar. Do you think that these are what we aspire to? You've got me sitting up here. Are you stupid? Why show them you do and say anything just to get people talking about you? This truly is the definition of a slut. Acolyte cancelled after a single season. So sad, I guess the modern audience didn't exist in a frightening enough capacity to make the girl boss fried IP that you don't understand palatable. Journos played their part in guaranteeing people like me made Wukong a day one purchase and now beta tester we're on the way to greatness and you're going to be seeing a bit of me coming out of every fucking content creator in this gaming space. Whether they've heard me or not, they've heard of my work. Thanks for passing around my baseball cards and never let them convince you that you can't have an impact. You can change the world with a shit posted meme. From western games we wouldn't take to eastern games that looked fake. Too good to be true. What did you think when you first saw Pal World? What did I think when I first saw Stellar Blade? Thank you for being vocal. Thank you for voting with your wallets. Beta tester, thank you for being you. I don't need you to be anything other than what you are. Thank you for informing, signal boosting, commenting, liking, whether it's this channel or another one sharing a like-minded sentiment. Thank you. You get the word out. You're why investors are mentioning SBI on calls. There are other areas where realistically, it'll never get back to the quote, good old days, but brothers and sisters, we approach the promised land. A renaissance is already upon us. What are the good old days as far as I'm concerned in gaming? It is a thriving environment where a Lara Croft can exist. A Lara Croft could never exist out of the West these days. You're too busy trying to inject your fucking message and agenda, and you could never do this with a property that you are creating because you know nobody would care. You have to drag down a pre-existing thing that has a legacy. 
a wave big enough for you to coast on, a monument so massive that the freeloading art assassins may enjoy its shade. You're nothing. You're offended by the white men that came before you, but they were artists first. And every person I've ever been inspired by, every book or movie I've ever tasted and loved, I never thought, oh, what about the skin color? These entities are disgusting. And if they could see past themselves for a single moment, they'd realize that people like them so little that they choose the CCCP over them. They're so unbearable that they're uniting people across aisles. Still honestly hilarious that the attention-starved drunk SBI representative endeavored desperately to spew some of their hatred on the beloved Akira Toriyama even though they're too much of a tourist to even know what the deal with Popo was. I hilariously insinuated that this cuck would never be influential but I take that back because their knee-jerk reaction to hide a literal list of sweet baby ink games that they should be proud of but they're aware that the sensitivity has made these games less profitable and in some cases shut these studios entirely down Warner Brothers is having such an exposed and lazy gender swap time with Batman and Mortal Kombat. All I have to do is sit back and read comments and everybody accuses me of not being nice. But I could just read your articles and have people piss in their pants. I don't do that. But I'm going to start doing it. I think it's sad. That Insomniac Games going full woke with preachy therapy sessions for its lazy lady writers only to extract all of that woke shit for the version and the places that they want it to sell. It's kind of like Disney making sure to diminish Chadwick Boseman's presence on a Chinese poster. As a black man not sipping the Kool-Aid, even I understand it from a business perspective. But after Disney's 2023, after Acolyte, there's going to be some lessons learned that they'll indicate on how they move forward. Beta testers, I believe with one more high profile event similar to this moving forward with more wallet voting, with more civil, vocal indications of what we want that Rockstar and devs like them would be forced to recognize the risk it poses to investors' paydays. They don't care about us. We need to go over some of these people. Of course, initially, GTA 5 is going to make all the money that it needs to, but will it last a decade like the last one did? It's not about making some of the money. It's about making all of it. You guys going to do that with your only C cups? Especially when Chinese, Korean, and Japanese devs may be able to churn something out, especially with the assistance of AI, inside a year or two. Is it going to be a good idea for you assholes to phone it in, suck in the cock of woke DEI bullshit? In time, I don't think we're going to have to argue for something as simple as not wanting sensitivity in our mature experience named after a goddamn crime, but I get treated like a mean guy when there are dozens of things that I omit from most videos. So, with Wukong passing 2 million, I think I'm going to do you guys a favor and read merely an excerpt from the kind of hit pieces that these cocksuckers routinely drop trying to slander whomever won't kiss their woke ring. When I read this, if you haven't heard it somewhere else, you'll understand. And I'm ending with this so patrons thank you. But remember, money for their grift is why they do what they do. And you'd be forced to admit Whatever I invest of myself into this channel, in this endeavor, is not worth what I receive. But I do it. And I quote, While my analysis and review of Black Myth Wukong remain focused on gameplay, it is important to mention the controversy surrounding the game studio. Acknowledging, of course, the lies spread by another fucking hack pussy who ran away after telling their lies instead of apologizing. Reports of misogyny and sexism from developers. Playing as a female gamer allowed me to notice issues surrounding inclusion and representation. As far as chapter 1 and 2, while characters are clearly fictitious and fantastical creatures, there were no 
female or feminine NPCs, enemies, or bosses present. The only exception, if you can call it female, is a boss named Mother of Stones, which is nothing more than a still glowing rock with no ability. She should be the strongest character in the game. You should be able to play as her and nobody else and she should be black and fat. Fucking frothing in the mouth over here. You fucking kidding me? You need to do whatever I fucking tell you to do or I'm gonna give you bad reviews me and my whole fucking crew. Oh my god, we're gonna do a hit job on you ass wives. That's what we represent over here at Screen Rant. The lack of diversity and inclusivity resonates with the misogynistic comments reported to have been made by developers which express disdain for women playing their games. Although Black Myth Wukong does have truly enjoyable moments, the underlying feeling that women aren't welcome in this world felt present throughout my gameplay experience. This is what insanity fucking looks like, and if we were being reasonable, we'd assume that of course this brain damaged fucking cock knows how stupid this sounds and is just doing it to get maximum attention. A message so profoundly fucking stupid that it surpasses rage bait and enters into TARD bait for us to repeat and go, WHAT NIGGA?! and to know that you are well aware of these mistranslations deliberately done with the intention to slander this foreign fucking studio is the definition of racism and we have to assume that there are genuine Chinese racists that wouldn't stoop this fucking low and if they were to it wouldn't be this dumb like we keep saying choose one motherfucker but here we are, but we will remain civil in the midst of your self-imposed destruction. It's truly astounding at this point, and I laughed until I damn near fell asleep watching Gamescom yesterday. You people have lost it. Good fucking luck. As usual, we look to the East for the salvation of what should have been products that could stand on their own without you fucking tugging at its coattails. You've made a bed you expect other people to lie in. Beta testers, I'll see you in the next one.